Hello guys, my name is Nathan Cavalcante from São Paulo, Brazil. Uh, I'm here today to present you uh, SAP MN Consumption Based Planning. Uh, this is a very good tool from a standard SAP. Uh, I could tell you that several companies use this process. So it's very good to know how it works in order to implement uh, whenever you, you need it. Uh, so, first of all, I'd like to, to provide you some basic information uh, about this scenario. So, uh, let me try to explain um, an example, a scenario as an example. Uh, let's just say you have a company, and this company has a thousand parts. And every day, you must know uh, the quantities for each part. These parts are very important for production process. So, can you imagine a person going going down to the warehouse and counting part by part and taking notes in his, his spreadsheet how many parts the company has for each part? It's, it's a kind of trouble. Uh, is a task consuming time task terrible task so MRP does exactly the same task but it it does it very very quickly so basing some parameters you tell the system your order order point and the system will check for you if the quantity you have in your stock is under the reorder point or not. If it is under the reorder point, the system will generate automatically a purchase requisition. Okay, that's the basic idea. Uh, let me show you uh, the sawtooth graph. Uh, here in the x axis we have the time. So let's just say this is a month. Uh, from the first day until the end of the month, okay? And in this axis, you have the stock level, in the other words, the quantity of the material that you have in your stock. Okay, uh, so let's just say, in the first day of the month, you have performed a good receipt. So you were from zero quantity, and now you have 500 quantity, okay? Uh, during the days, it's normal to perform consumptions against production orders, for example. Uh, so the time is passing and every day you are using this material. So let's just say you needed six days in order to perform this consumption. Uh, here we call this point as reorder point. You can tell the system a hundred quantity is your reorder point. Uh, when the stock level reaches this point, system will automatically generate the purchase requisition, and um, you would need a time to convert it in purchase order, send it to vendor. Vendor, you separate the material, the goods, and send to you. Uh, we call it lead time, which means the time from the purchase requisition creation until the goods received. So here is a our lead time is very very uh, small, very short lead time, uh, and I have to guarantee that you have enough quantity in order to work the following days until I receive the quantity, uh, my goods received. So it happens here in the in this day. And your stock level reaches again the maximum, the plant maximum stock level. In this case 500. And the life uh, goes on. So it is a routine, okay? So you have up and down, up and down along 
the month. So if you see this draw, this graph is like a salt tooth. That's why it receives this name. Okay? So, so just telling you the concept, I, I hope you could understand. Um, let you see more concepts. Uh, to the ones that do not know this graph, it represents a specific product consumption and re resupply continuity as follows. 100 is a production reorder point, meaning every, every time stock level reaches this point or quantity, system will generate automatically a resupply purchase requisition in order to restore the maximum stock level. 500 is the plant maximum stock level. Uh, the necessary time to perform stock level resupply since purchase requisition creation until goods received is known as lead time. This graph for example is very simple since it does not have security stock level. But the idea was just show graphically the reason it is no salt tooth. Up and down stock levels across the time generates a salt image. Okay? So, let's go to the next slide. Uh, Prerequisites. Okay, let's just go to SAP and try to put this idea on SAP. Let's go to Material Master Data MRP View, MRP1. So, I'm going to MMO2. I have a material that I would like to use here, this one. Uh, let's just choose MRP1 view and let's just choose the plant you are going to work. Okay? So the first change we must do is MRP type. Let's just choose V1. MRP, MRP type is here. Now it's showing that is ND, not no planning at all. And we are going to change it to V1. V1 is exactly the example that I would like to show you. Manu manual reorder point with external requisition. External requisition that means that we have a, a supply, a supplier, uh, external supplier, a vendor. Okay. Uh, as you can see, we have here V2. Uh, is the same, it's similar to the V1, but it's automatically. Okay, I, I'm going to show you only V1. You can uh, try to work with the other ones to see the difference. Okay, let us work with V1. Um, we have to define our re other point. In our example, we were working with 100. Okay, uh, also, we must define our MRP controller. And MRP controller is here. Let's just say is the person in charge of the stock. Here in, in Portuguese we have gerente de stock, which means uh, stock manager. Okay. Uh, MRP controller. Uh, we must define MRP lot size. Let's just choose HB. Uh, I will show you what means HB. HB. Replenish to maximum stock level. Okay. And we must define our maximum stock level. You can do that here. In our example, we were working with 500. Okay. We have more fields here, but for the uh, salt tooth. Only this information is necessary, I believe. Let's just see. Let's just check if it's missing any data. Uh, no errors. So we can just save the changes we have done so far. All right, material is changed. Okay. Um, what we we can do right now is just perform a test to see if we, if the system will work. Or not well first thing we must do is just see just check the quantities we have in our stock right now 
So I'm using MD04 transaction. We are working on plant 100. And here we have uh, 483 in our stock. Um, which means the quantity we have is above uh, the reorder time type sorry reorder point which means uh, if we run the MRP nothing will, will happen just because it's not it's not necessary to purchase more quantities purchase material okay let's let's run the MRP and just confirm what I have told you right now transaction and the MD02 I'm going to run the MRP just for my material if you need to run for the whole plant you should use MD01 transaction code um, okay here's the material here's the plant I'm going to use net change for total horizon uh, create purchase requisition uh, let me see here no schedule lines not, for me it's not necessary you can try several options here okay I'm just using the ones I like to work MRP release let us create planning mode uh, I like to delete and recreate the planning data um, I can display the results before they are saved and if I want I can display material list let's just run with these options double enter and you can see nothing has changed okay all right well uh, we have to simulate now uh, we have to change this quantity we must be under under every other point that is a hundred so all, all I can do now is just perform a consumption uh, I don't have any production order right now but I can do a consumption against cost center okay so let's use, use, use transaction code MB 1A very slow let me open another another window and let, let's just try again use transaction code MB 1A okay um, let's use, uh, use movement type 201 and storage location one oh 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 one all right cost center i can use choose one and the material choose one let's just see the batches for choose material all right uh, here very good I have 400 quantities and it is bad uh, so 400 but enter and now we are ready to see Okay, material document is created, and we can go back to MMBA transaction code and refresh. All right, now we have H3 acquaintance in my stock, which means we are under the reorder point. 
Okay, if we run again the MRP, the system will generate, the system should generate a purchase requisition. Okay, so let's just do it. Let's just do it right now. I will not save just plenty of results. Let's just let's just run again the transaction code M MDO2. Uh, let's just change delete and recreate the planning data. With no schedule lines. No schedule lines. Okay. All right. Enter double double enter. Oh, perfect. So exactly what we were expecting. System you generate a purchase requisition. This is the number, the item, and the quantity. So we we have changed the material in the MRP view MRP one view. We, we told the system that uh, our maximum, our plant maximum stock level is 500. So what the system will do? System will create a quantity exactly uh, the quantity missing in order to pro to reach the maximum level. So with in other words, this quantity plus this quantity. Is, will be exactly the maximum plant stock level okay so we can save the changes because I agree with the result and here we have the MRP run results okay all right uh, let's just go transaction MD04 and, and let's just see the MRP list uh, on double click in the purchase requisition you would be able to open it or just to convert it in the purchase order uh, you just open it Let, let's just change because I would like to see it in open fields All right. Uh, what we would you like to show you? Um, item, the material, material des description, the quantity, delivery date. Okay. Here, uh, gerente de stock is the uh, stock manager. Okay, which means MRP controller name. Okay, uh, here let's just see the item details. Uh, nothing interesting here, the quantities. Evaluation is the internal price, internal material price. Here is the status. And here is exactly what I would like to, to show you, the contact person. Uh, creation indicator. This is very important. How can I know if a purchase requisition was created manually or created by MRP? So here is how you can, def uh, how you can know this information. Uh, the creation indicator says that it was this purchase requisition was created by material requirements planning MRP. Okay. Also, you can see here the MRP controller HHH stock manager that we have assigned in, in this material and in the uh, uh, MRP one vision. Okay, so 
this is the idea this is exactly that what I would like to show you uh, we have done a test for ju just for one material and so the next step is create a purchase order to perform the wood receipts and migo miro and invoice, invoice verification and you have the 500 quantities in your stock over again uh, again we have done this test just for one material and this can be done for several materials several important uh, parts for the company okay uh, what else is important to say uh, if you have let's just say a hundred parts that are very important to the company and uh, you would like to to use this solution for these parts you can do that and uh, you can try using the manual um, the v1 mrp type or v2 if you work with manual type uh, manual mrp type let me open again here uh, you have you, you must have in your mind that you 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 need to provide this information for each material okay uh, also a very important information is uh, you have to provide this information this information this information you, you can do that in mass okay uh, you can use transaction code mm 17 and you can provide this information from an Excel spreadsheet okay uh, you, you can use it for plant data okay you need to, to, to know which fields you must use for in order to perform choose mass update just press F1 in this field and click over here technical information and you have this information here okay mark and this is the field mark is the table and this is the field do the same uh, repeat the same procedure for all necessary fields we have used here today and we would be able to perform mass update for all, ma all necessary materials okay I think this is all that I would like to show you today. I, ho I hope you could understand my bad, bad, bad English. And I hope you, you can try and on your own. So that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you could not understand anything that I, <laughs> I tried to explain here, please just send an email to me and I, I would be able uh, to provide you more information. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you next time.